Hey, this is Julie Olson with That Library Girl. I want to show you one of my resources that lets you bypass that beginning of the year book care lesson that you've taught the kids over and over and over again. You know, there's just basics that we need to go over at the beginning of the year. You know, keep your books away from pets. Use clean hands. But by third or fourth grade, they have heard all your reminders time and time again. Maybe it's time for you to introduce a fresh new lesson. If you buy this resource, the very first part of the file is this intro page. This is editable so that you can tailor it to your specific library. This is a slide that I project and I talk to my kids about our resources that belong to our school and how we're all responsible for taking good care of them. This is where I slip in a little bit of information about the difference between print, non-print, and digital resources. I talk specifically about device resources that they'll be using in the library, either for research or maybe to create a presentation or maybe to use during centers or even during makerspace. And then I talk to them about the scoop game and we get started. This file also includes 12 Scoot story cards that look something like this. It includes a recording sheet and an answer key. This, this resource only prints out in color. It does not have a black and white version, and it prints out 8x8. Eight eight. You take the cards, probably laminate them, and you're going to post them kind of spread out throughout your library so groups of students can move from card to card to card, reading the little story on the card, talking about what happened to the character, and then at the very bottom, answering a question. Maybe they're going to make a prediction about what's going to happen. Maybe they're going to tell why a character was successful. Maybe they're going to talk about how to solve a problem. But all of the answers are going to pull from prior knowledge, things that you've already taught them or other librarians have taught them in the past about taking good care of library resources. Then, so you have an assessment, if you want to use this piece, I've created a recording sheet, and this is kind of how it works. First off, you're going to want to give them a clipboard or maybe a sturdy piece of cardboard, something that they can write on as they're moving about from place to place in the library. You're going to divide your kids up into teams, and if you start a team off, say at card number seven, they are going to know that number seven on the grid is where they're going to answer that question. It may be the same question that was on the story card. It may be an extension question, so they have to watch out for that. There's also a little icon that illustrates what was told about on the story card just to kind of help the kids get their answers in the right spot. My kids needed that little bit of extra besides just the number, so we've got that in there for them. I have included an answer key for you, but keep in mind, just because it's my answer doesn't mean whatever the kids put down is not a valid answer. I'm always surprised at the wonderful thoughts that my kids come up with, even though we've played the scoot game from year to year. When you're ready for teams to scoot from spot to spot, you get to have a little fun because you're going to give a little signal. And this can be a lot of things. You can play some fun music on your phone, or you can ring a um, bell, or you can tweet a buzzer. You can just call out scoot. You can do all kinds of fun things, but keep going until your teams have rotated through all 12 scoot stops and the answers have been recorded on that sheet. It is such a simple game, and really, you're still going over those same old book care and library resource rules, but the kids love it. They love being up and moving around your library. So what do I cover on the cards? Same things we always teach, same things the kids need to be reminded of. Keeping library books away from pets and little brothers and sisters, watching out for books on rainy days and making sure that water bottles in backpacks with books have the lid screwed on tight. Um, there's a card about not leaving messes in the library. You know, we don't wanna leave our center mess out for someone else to have to deal with. There's one about being safe, you know, watching where you're going. Um, if you're handling a device, you know, be careful with those things. They're expensive. There's another card about um, eating while you're reading a library book. Another one about sticky hands from blowing bubble gum bubbles. There's one that came from a true incident in my library where a child missed a lesson about green screen and then the next week she was embarrassed. She felt like she didn't know 
what to do, and she didn't want to ask. She was a little bit timid about that. So one of my story cards addresses the fact that, you know, hey, we're all learning at different times in our lives. It's okay to ask questions. There is another one about a fuss during center time and two teammates not getting along, not wanting to take turns. So the kids have to talk about conflict and how they would resolve it. Um, there's one about what do you do if you've lost a library book? The most common thing of all. And the little hero on this story card, he persevered. He looked and looked and looked and looked until he finally found it. So that is one of the cards that the kids will talk about together too. Like I said, same old reminders we always have to go over, but this kind of flips the situation for the kids. Instead of receiving the information, they're going to be talking about the information as they move from scoot spot to scoot spot throughout your library and hopefully have a good time doing it. All right, well, I hope that resource gives you an idea for a fresh new take on your book care and library resource care lessons. And thank you for listening and watching to my for my preview. Bye-bye.